Low, low back pain. Um, at times when I'm when I'm driving, get um, I will get some um, some ting, some numbing. More particularly, it's on the left. It's been happening on the left side. Yeah, okay, that's new. Yep. Only when you're driving. That, that was the last time I can recall it happening. There was one occasion where I was sitting down and then I just suddenly felt felt the numbing in my in my right hand. I was lifting as a work with a lifting uh, equipment and something aggravated in my mid back. As as things start tightening up, um, ner nerve nerves start getting aggravated. So yeah, I'm pretty tight right now and uh, need to get the power turned back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can turn the power on. All right, uh, let's go back to the, the, the toe tingling because that's new. <clears throat> Mostly on the left, but you're, you felt it on the both. Did you only feel it that week that you were visiting in Florida or is it still going on? Um, did it happen on your drive here? It, it did not happen. It definitely did not happen on my driver. The only thing I felt on my way driver here is the same thing. I've been feeling pretty, pretty much uh, most most times I'm driving or most times I'm sitting at my desk or, okay. or, at, or at home back pain which uh oh and uh there was one instance where i, I would i would feel it i feel it right right over here on the, on the side of my, on the left, on the left side mm -hmm. so i kind of feel like as i get to know my body better i think everything is happening on the left mm -hmm. i do a bunch of left-sided stuff that's your primary your si that's where i do soft tissue too first came in your july 2021 we've had a couple visits what's it like when you get adjusted how long um, how long does the relief last for you? The last few times I, I would, you know, I give it a, give it quarterly. Okay. But then, but then I realize, you know, as I get older, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna have to change the, uh, change the, uh, change the frequency on that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, so I'm definitely gonna start tightening up on that because I want to get back into weightlifting. Good. And by the way, I, I, I told you uh, I was going to finish my degree in uh, December. Mm -hmm. I did. Awesome, man. Congratulations. I'm yeah. happy for you, man. Are you making music? I'm still making mixtapes. Uh, yeah. it doing the whole streaming thing. That's that's the other thing, so right. still doing that. <laughs> that's right. All right, do you want to drop your handle so people can check it out? Yeah, sure, man. So uh, if, you, if you're looking on Twitch, uh, that's where you'll most likely find me. It's twitch.tv slash... DJ underscore that's DJ spell L D double E J A Y underscore Buddy Lee. Cool. Let's see what's happening. All right, let's put this guy back here. This guy back here. All right, sir. Music is medicine. Yes, it is. That's why I play it. That's why I stream it. Because I know, I know if I could help someone with some kind of uh, mm. anxiety mm. issue, mm. then they could just come on and uh, just listen and know that uh, they're not being judged. Do you know what cymatics is? Cymatics? Yeah. There, there's like this plate. It's a flat, flat table. Okay. okay. Underneath of the table is a, a motor and there's a there's like a vibratory component to it so every time they increase the the tone and you can hear it working it's like right. like it goes up it's making a sound they, they just pour sand on the table okay all of a sudden when the frequency gets hit the sand just spontaneously forms into geometrical patterns 
Have you ever seen this? You know what I'm talking I about? I have not. How? Mm, I'm just curious. How does all that work? <laughs> well, it's because sound waves yep. are carrying mathematical geometries within them. So even though it's just a wave, mm -hmm. um, you know it, these these geometric patterns they're extremely complex. You know, there's it's like the circle of life type stuff. Have you yep. ever seen any of that geometry? <laughs> kind of. In some ways, it's kind of like how uh, opera singers can break glass. Mm, yes. This other cinematics video where this the uh, there's an opera singer, and someone had built for her this tube, and the tube comes down. It's like a, the letter J, and so she's singing down into it, and then the tube goes down and it loops back up, and so the top of the tube, the the opposite end of it, is is flat, and so and they just put a piece of paper on top of the flat portion. And she's singing down into the tube, okay. and the, the, the frequency of her voice is traveling down the tube and then around the J and then up to the plate. And so they put sand on the plate. And she's singing into it, right? And she's just mm -hmm. singing this, uh, I think she's singing a Mozart song. And as she's singing, she hits this one note. And when she hits the note, the sand on the, uh, on the plate spontaneously forms itself into a geometrical pattern. There's also something incredibly healing about being in, in a, at a concert with thousands of other people and everyone singing together. Mm -hmm. And if you're singing together, that means you're breathing together because you can't, you can't talk without breathing out. And so everyone's like, ah. <laughs> but you know, till you know, till till they till you go out to Japan and check it out for yourself. I mean, they got great composers. Yeah, where he was pushing it early on that left tailbone, I definitely felt that one. Mm -hmm. I think with junior year, I was like, I was number one, first chair. My senior year, I was, I was fourth, but then, but then we had a, um, a huge event, uh, out of the University of South Florida. They, they have, I think it was mostly juniors and seniors that came out. Mm -hmm. And, and they, I think it was called the Festival of Winds at the time. This was uh, 90, 99. Mm -hmm. And uh, out of, there was like, I want to say it was like 40 tuba players coming from, from like all over the county, of all, like all over the state of Florida. <laughs> you know, I, you know I, was, I became fourth chair out of that audition. That's pretty amazing. Here's this 17, 18 year old kid, sit fourth chair. But yeah, it was, it was fun. Then I just kept the music there with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially health when it comes to DJ. Oh, and absolutely. Because you, you already know how to count bars. Exactly.
Come on. Oh, nice. Good. And out. Pull your belly button up to your spine here. Good. On your back. All right. Let's see if there's one more in there, actually. On your back. Nice, gentle. Good. Grab on your back. How's that? Good. Oh, that was good. Yeah, it was. <laughs> right on the money. Right, what would you say is your favorite all-time hip-hop album? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, hip-hop album. Um, so, if I had to go individually, mm -hmm. that would be Nas, for sure. Okay, that's is it a particular album or artist. Oh, particular album. Um, I had a conversation uh, with a friend of mine from high school. We talked about um, Illmatic and uh, it was written. Mm -hmm. Now, while Illmatic was was the first one, you know, uh -huh. story, you know, uh, storytellers and all that. Uh, I kind of, as I listened to it more and more, I kind of. Lean more towards uh, it was written. Yeah. The second one. Yeah. Where Wu Tang Forever be a tough one. Track two, my all time favorite rap song and all time favorite line I bomb atomically, mm -hmm. like Socrates, Socrates philosophies, and hypotheses. Damn it. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, getting back to getting back to your uh, question, uh, EDM, uh, that's a tough one because uh, there. And the reason I said it because there are a lot of EDM artists out there. Again, you know, my my bread my bread and butter. Uh, what I listen to is a lot more mm -hmm. hip hop, R and B side, uh, the funk funk uh, funk side, soul, jazz. Um, you got a favorite folk uh, funk funk? Um, so. We got um oh so it could be a uh, gap band um mm. you mean like gap band like the old time gap band oh okay gap yeah gap band um yeah dude <laughs> that's like that's straight up my dad told me earth, about wind, gap band. earth wind and fire uh, yeah. i'll never get to see a prince concert i'll never get to i'll never get to see a michael jackson concert mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I don't know if that's true because hologram technology is getting more and more advanced and you may be able to go to a Michael Jackson concert one day. You know who Wolfpack is? They're they're a new jam band, funk band. Wolfpack. Wolfpack. They're they're they're, they're super tight. I know there's so many artists. It's a beautiful time to yep. to be a lover of music and a listener. Yep, especially now. Favorite jazz artist? You heard of um, Roy Ayers? A Y E R S? Correct. Yeah, I think I've seen him before. I think he's come up in some playlist, Spotify. 88 years old is still killing the game. Okay, we're breathing. Good. Ooh, word. <laughs> that, that 
hopefully it was needed. And then push your elbow back against me here. Nice. Push. Yeah, there we go. Okay, bring your chin down your chest. Okay, we're gonna lean back a little bit. You don't have to go heavy, man. It's all about high high reps frequency. You know, you're not gonna go in and set PRs anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't want you to do that. It's not good for your back. At this point, like a little bit of strength conditioning is gonna go a long way for your spine. A long way. Yeah, definitely. definitely. 